Okay, here we go. Back at it. Let's clean that up. Okay. So, yeah, we left off and uh, we just need to make blue circuits, I think. It's what's the next thing to do here. Uh, and with those blue circuits we can make productivity module 3s and stuff like that and uh, that'll give us more of these, all these resources and everything. And uh, yeah, and then I'll probably need to expand down this way and take this iron. Anything else? Yeah, I would like some more iron somewhere, but it looks like that's the only one I can see right now. Oh, there is one as well. Most awkward shape ever, maybe. Is there any other iron on the map? No? Yeah, it looks like those two are the only ones I can see. So I guess I'll need to branch out a bit and place some more radars. And stuff. But yeah, okay, so let's get started on making some blue signs or blue circuits. That's gonna need uh, red, green circuits, and sulfuric acid. So if you wanna make. Yeah, I'll just make 10 for starters. Just to match the crafting time. Actually, I'll do this in the blind spot here. So that the robots don't actually build this. Let's make one of those. And yeah, I don't think I'll actually do. Uh, I think I'll just pull red and green circuits in on a belt for now. Okay, so that is then... Yeah, so 20 electronic circuits and 2 red circuits per cycle. So with that, I guess I'll just do like this. One belt for green circuits. Mm. Duplicate these up here. Here. So, one belt for green circuits, and one belt for red circuits, and that one can be yellow because I don't need more than that, and then I need sulfuric acid input here, and yeah, I think I concluded that, yeah. Do it again though. Uh, so I concluded, I think, that this layout and this layout are both the same size. Yeah, they're both the same height. So I'll just do this one. Keep it easy with the pipes. And I'll need a purple there too. And yeah. Put this the other way. And uh, there. So, uh, these 10 are going to require 10 sulfuric acid per cycle. What was I maybe making out of these? I'm using that for something already. I think. No? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, yeah, for the batteries. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I'll need some more sulfuric acid here. And I only need 10 per cycle, right? Yeah, 10 per cycle. So, just one. Camp plant can power five of these. So some fluoric acid, and yeah, I guess I'll just put one up here to keep it simple, and then I can expand it later if I need to. But I'll do it something like this, so, so that it's easy to expand. Oh yeah, this does need sulf sulfur input, doesn't it? Oops. Is that here? Yeah. fine. Uh, so let's see, how much sulfur are these consuming? 
Uh, they're consuming one sulfur per cycle. And this one is producing two sulfur per cycle. And this is going to consume also just one sulfur per cycle, actually. For now. So I'll probably need to m add some more of these. I guess I can... Yeah, I'll just reuse this, I think. Right, that also needs iron. Alright, let's put one of these down here. Oh, I can just put it here. Um, yeah. Actually, this would be much easier this way. here. Okay, I cannot pull these in closer, but yeah, okay, so uh, this is water, I'll just do... Uh, can I move this around somehow? I guess I can just put the water in like this instead. Uh, like there. Then I can continue that way later if I need to. So then I'll have the sulfuric acid output here. Let's just pull this all over. Oh. Pull that all the way over here. I can put it here even. I can keep that one there. Put a power pole. for this. Like that. Okay, so now I just need to pipe in some petroleum and some water. And we're good. So let's see. Petroleum is here. Probably just do like this. Up here. Get rid of those. And there's water, and that should get this running. So then I can just pull this down this way and collide with this here. Right, so where do, I, where do I put this? I guess I'll just put it here for now. Probably works. Kinda close to the red and green circuits, but not too close. Yeah, this should be fine. That's even within Roverford range. So I just need to connect to this. And then... Split this up this way. this off as well. And I am going to need more green circuits in this. 
actually. Like, I can probably take this one too. this plastic? Yeah, that's plastic. Or it's supposed to be plastic, but I don't have any plastic right now. Um, oh, because I don't have any coal. Whoops. Uh, so, yeah, these should alleviate that. Once they come online. Which I guess is gonna be a while. So right now I just need to wait for those to come back or come on. Uh, okay, some little purples here. Uh, I need to connect to this one. Okay, squiggle it through here. circuits. Yeah, and this is already filling up nicely. <laughs> Perfect. So wait, why are these not working then? So this one says crack if... yeah, this one's... I think I should turn it the other way around now, probably. If that one is greater than 20k. And yeah, this will enable if it's less than 10k, or greater than 10k. So I'll flip those two around. There. Okay, so now this is running and these will shut off. Yep. So I'll turn these off eventually. Once we run out of petroleum, like right there. Then these are much more efficient use of the oil. Yeah, as you can see. This is the rate with petroleum. And this is the rate with light oil. Is it like three times more efficient, maybe? 30 light oil gives you three solid fuel, or it gives you one solid fuel. Yeah, it's three times more efficient to make it out of these, than to crack it and then make it out of these. Right, so that should help the power a bit, which will help the coal a bit. Uh, oh, these are running out. Yeah, because this really, if you want to be strict about it, it actually requires a red belt. Not all the way though, actually. Only like, uh, how far is it? Uh, one full line here is 72 megawatts, and one yellow belt of coal is only 60 megawatts. So... 
it's gonna be something like this at 60 so uh, yeah that's 60 so this is like 60 times 0.9 that's 50 54 megawatts and this is should be just about the same just about enough That's 54. So this is another. Yeah, like 58 ish. Yeah. So two around here. That's where I need the red belts. Oops, wrong direction. Let's do the same here. How many is it? 16. Uh, I won't bother actually. These are not connecting. Why are those two not connecting? circuits cool so do I put up yeah I'll put up a buffer here that oh and I should have I should definitely have productivity modules in these there these as soon as I can. Right. Okay, it's ten. This could probably feed a few more of these actually. Since I have Oh but then I have the wrong inserter on the wrong side. Whoops. Oh, did I cut it? Okay. Um, yes, let's see here. 10 seconds, 20 circuits. So I think these now have a higher stack size. Yeah, so this should be able to handle that actually. I should be able to just do that, and this should kind of work. I also need this side. I should also put a re 
recycling just here. For the blue circuits. And yeah, let's see, that's about 41 hours to make the first blue circuits. My first Death World Marathon game, it took me just short of a hundred hours to make my first blue circuit, so I'm definitely doing this a lot faster this time, <laughs> even with the restriction of not walking. So that feels pretty good. Okay, these are running. That's very good. Oh, these will need that coverage. So, now to figure out something to do with these, uh, and I should make some modules first of all, I think. Uh, so do I just build this out? These are still working. So I think I should make a different module factory. Maybe. Although I, gu I guess I am just going to use all these modules and recycle them into bigger modules, mostly. Not for the efficiency ones, but for the other ones. So okay, let's go back to the same blind spot here and build a few things. So, do I have those recipes? I don't have those recipes quite yet, but I can make these at least. I also need these recipes over here. Um, yeah, these really like to be moduled when you're making them in big quantities. But for now we'll just do the naive builds here. So let's see. If we go with these and then oops and then these. The ratio the ratios would blow up quite quickly here. So uh, these make one in every fifteen seconds and these make one in every thirty seconds. So these consume two speed modules per thing. So those two, yep, those two will craft enough modules to feed this one. Might want an extra one just in case I need some level ones. And then let's see here. That's 60 and that requires 5. So, five of those can feed two level three assemblers. Uh, so, yeah, I can actually do a layout like this here. Like that. I'm going to need to put those in a belt probably. And then uh, these just need red and green circuits in equal quantities. So I can probably just put them on the same belt. And then this one also needs blue circuits and red circuits. So we'll do input there and output there. And then I can mirror this to the other side. And then I can have an extra somewhere. I'll do that somewhere else. Okay, so I need two and a half of this in order to feed one assembler for the level threes. Just gonna be like that probably. And take input, input, and make output. Mm, 
Yeah, and then I can just pull some of this. Into an output chest here as well. Yeah, and then I will. Do I double this? Yeah, I'll double this up on the other side as well. Like so. No, wait. This needs to be one space away. And this one goes there. There we have it. So that's level twos and this is level threes. Yeah, I guess I can just keep the other level one factory for now. So I'll just copy that a few times. Apply these recipes instead. So productivity to there and there and there. And one there. So there it is. Guess I want to put these like that probably. And I probably want them in the order productivity, then speed, then efficiency in order of priority. So then let's see, are these going to consume an entire belt? Uh, so we have 6, 12 of these, that's almost one full thing. That's 4 fifths, so it's 4 of each circuit per cycle. So if I do that and do like this. It's going to take four, and that's going to take four, and that's going to take four, so that's twelve. Alright, but, but if I have them on the same belt, it's going to, um, it's only going to last until here. Uh, but okay, so if I continue this way... Wait, this is only six. So these two together are gonna consume four per second. Okay, so four, okay, so that's twelve. So I can just do a red belt this way. And from here it only needs to be yellow. And uh, this. If I have one full belt of each of green and red circuits, that's gonna be able to feed this. And then for the middle ones, I have six of those. And that's going to consume, that's a fifth of the thing. So that's going to consume one of each cycle. So then, if I have red in there... And blue in there, so green, red, blue. This should be sufficient. I do like this. And that should do it.
can compact it even a bit further, like there, and even optimize that a bit. That should do it. Now we need to find a space for this. I guess we can squeeze it in here somewhere here. Maybe flip it this way. Flip it that way. Flip it this way. Do all those coincidences? <laughs> Maybe here. That could be okay. These pose. Yeah, let's just do it here. And then I'm gonna need a row report coverage for these chests as well. One is not going to cover all of them, so let's just put one here. It's not going to connect though. No, but it's it will here. If I put it in there, it's fine. I can do it there. So now I need a power pole like that. circuits, red circuits, blue circuits. I can get the blue from up here. And the red I can get from here. And finally green I can also pull from here probably. Should at least get the level 2 modules started. Even if I don't expect this to actually work at full throughput yet, because these probably aren't enough to feed it. But it'll get us started at least. Get some more power poles in there. second hull will be productivity 3 recipe will be done also so yeah these are short on purple signs check that out disco signs one of my favorite mods okay so for this I'm going to need more steel, yeah, so for that I'm going to need more iron, because I am already consuming all of this, and all of this, yeah. Yeah, this ammo build is still hard at working. So yeah, I'm going to need more iron mines, 
in order to feed all this. Well, let's see if this is working now. Oh yeah. I don't think these can have productivity modules. They could have speed modules, but then again I can just add more machines instead. You can make this whole thing a lot more compact and a lot more efficient with the uh, beacons, but I don't have those, those yet, so this will do for now. So let's see. Oh yeah, I should set limits on these as well. So it's gonna be if prod two modules less than a hundred fifty. Module three finished. Cool. Should also do these. Not yet. I think. I think I'm gonna research this for now. Let the purple sign stack up a bit. Okay, so this needs to go there. And then we'll do uh, this one. And let's set that one to like 500. Or like maybe 200. It's a good, good enough start. So this will keep producing practically forever. Oh yeah, and now I can actually set that recipe. Like that. There we go. And yeah, that's all I needed for this this one. Let's do the same one for this one. And these I'm going to need so many of once I start using them. So let's do 500 for starters. And it's these ones. And then. The level twos, oops, level twos, let's do like 50. Those are quite niche. And then over here, let's do like 20 efficiency two modules. And also like 20 efficiency three. So I don't really expect to need many of those. Well, there it is. That's going to make some modules. Yeah, and this needs way more red circuits. Which needs... Plastics? Plastic is actually back up now. Cool. But yeah, that just needs more copper. This is all being consumed. Is this all being consumed? Not really, so I could place some more copper smelters here. Uh, that's in it within coverage. So let's see here. I guess maybe I can pull some more belts out from here. Maybe I'll pull them... So what if I do a priority splitter here? Same here. Then I can pull another copper belt like this. Uh, 
that. Put that in there. And another memory splitter. Just in case I need one later. And let's see, these are just normal belts. I guess I'll just need to continue a few more belts over here. Because these should only be able to con produce about six belts. Yeah, a bit less even. Something like that. Yeah, so I'll put a few priority splitters over here. A few more belts out of those. And then the same thing here. Should mean that any surplus from these gets uh, just spills over into here. And then I can use this copper up there. Oops. Oops. There. Put it over this way. Oops. Go one tile closer. Uh, and there. Merge that back in there. Should hopefully get some more copper flowing. Yeah, and there will be some more surplus on these belts once these catch back up. These and these. Do I have any more copper within the territory? No. But there are quite a few big copper patches, I think. No? Okay, they're quite far out. Those also. Yeah, they're quite far out. Five million. Three million. Okay, so this one's the biggest on the map right now. So let's see here. Are these catching up yet? Okay, there it is. This is able to swallow all of it for now, but it should eventually halt up a bit because these uh, are not working full speed because they have modules. See, they have minus 10% speed, which means it'll consume only 90% of these. Let's back up. Have these produced any modules yet? Zero, zero, one, two. Okay, so we have produced three level two modules. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and these are all done. Also cool.
So I guess here I should probably set some recycling chests here too. first yep so a level one module there level two modules there and these were efficiency so level one module there level two module there and then productivity level one there and Level two there. back up a bit quicker, but yeah, it looks like, looks like it is coming here. It is slowly backing up. So what about these? Okay, these are also not backing up yet. Oh, is that not enough? This doesn't actually quite work, does it? So I first need to push everything that way and then pull all the surplus back down this way. This one is backing up. Okay, so this one is flowing fully. This one, yeah, okay, I just I guess I just need more of these. Yeah, I just need more of these. I think this won't quite work with this thing here. We'll see. Is this still working? Slowly building this up. Power is starting to look better here, and this is almost fully fed by solid fuel now. Very good. Plastic is back up. We even have a bit of buffer. Yeah, these belts are sad again. <laughs> Oh, okay, but they're not... Okay, they're consuming very slowly up here. Yeah, I 
guess all this is just backed up. Uh, because this is waiting for blue science, which is waiting for what exactly? Iron. Oh, there's no iron coming from here. It's because this is facing the wrong way. should have received level 2 modules by now. Where are they? No? Oh, have they all been consumed? Oh yeah, they've all been consumed by these. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'll uh, actually do I Okay that one's working now. I think I should just disable these for now. When I can Grade one of those to level threes. Like, yeah, this one probably. the rest. Okay, now let's move all of these. Yeah, that can be recycled. Oh, do I not have a recycling chest for those? I don't. Okay, let's set up a recycling chest for solid fuel. Yeah, that's just the side of Robo Range. Okay, let's put it there instead. Or maybe even there, so it has power. And let's see, are they moving these? Yes, they are moving those down there. Very good. some speed modules. I guess I can use those to upgrade the oil, but I don't I don't think I'm short on oil right now. Yeah, I don't need it. So I'll just wait with that. Maybe actually even just oops. Should probably even just disable this whole thing and just funnel everything into productivity modules for now because those those are the ones I need, really. This has produced one. Okay, these are going there. And let's see. Yeah, we have 51 Prod 1 modules. So. Yeah, I should probably just move that factory down here. Can just place an extra of these that way. Mm. 
maybe? Yeah, that'll be fine. But I can reduce the limits on these now. So I can put these to like 10, because I rarely if ever need these anymore. And these can be... yeah, these can actually still be 200. And these... yeah, those can stay at 52, or maybe like 20. This whole thing to make sure I get it right. There, and there, and then slip that way. Yep. Now let's take a second look down here. What did level did I or what limit did I put on this? Yeah, that can be like ten actually. So then, let's just move all these around. Get all these modules down into here, uh, into here to be recycled. Close to 7,000 robots now. It's very nice. Put the chests back. So these will refill back up to that limit, but yeah, these will just reprocess all these modules as needed. Okay, it's running. Yeah, these are all the ones I have by far the most of. Is going oh, now this is getting copper. Cool. So this is doing something then. Full flow, full flow. Full flow. Okay, so we don't have quite full flow on these all the way down. This one pulls all the way down to there, and this one pulls all the way down to there. So I think that should probably work. And then maybe I don't actually need these two lines. Let's 
see a lot of fidgeting there, but it's gonna... If I can get these to flow fully all the time, it should be good. More steam engine coming in. Oh, wait. Ah! <laughs> I put an extra li line of steam engines in there. It's no good. Okay, so that's a bit space efficient, but I don't think I'll fix it. It's fine. Okay, so are these? Yes, these are back up. Okay. So let's see here. One, two, three, four with full flow. Still not quite getting full flow on all of them. So these are already prioritizing this up here. I think I want to clean this up a bit further. Starting by using red belts for these instead. Or red underground since at least. So then I can go all the way across with them. Okay, that's done. Oh, I'm not that far away from the rocket now, actually. So let's research this one, or maybe not yet, actually. Let's do these ones first. No, wait, I don't have that science pack yet. Uh, so let's do these, I guess. What else do I need? Oh, that's all the technologies I need for the rocket silo. Hmm, cool. Yeah, let's do that then. Um, okay, so let's extend this all the way out here. And pull one belt off there. Remove these. And then pull everything all the way up there again. Pull another belt off. And then the rest should just automatically balance out. Did I mess this up now? Yeah. There we go. That should do it, I think. And then, yeah, now I definitely won't need these.
now these should flow fully all the way. And we'll be we'll get a bit of surplus on these two belts. Or maybe just one belt, we'll see. So how are these modules coming? We've made one of yeah, one of that so far. Five, okay, 21, about 30 or something of those, okay. Yeah, because I disabled these two, okay. Right, so these are getting upgraded, very good. Let's see, there are the belts are coming in. full flow here. Alright, so that should give us a bit more extra copper here so we can feed into this red uh, circuits and then hopefully get this, this whole thing running again. Okay, so those are now fully backed up. So yeah, we're getting the, the surplus over here. Very good. A few modules we can recycle. Actually, let's put another miner down there. That one's also finished. These are still going. That one's done. Okay. surplus that we can feed this way. Wait, maybe I actually need another belt to do that. No? Yeah, I will when these back up, yeah. But then, yeah, I guess that would just back all the way back up here and then just feed into this instead. So yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, we can almost... Yeah, this is more than half a belt. That's pretty good. Yeah. Feeding all the way up there. Cool. Yeah, this one is running kind of low, isn't it? Some of these down. Have I got to the point where I don't really need to worry about biters stacking your base? Yes, I have. Evolution is still at 87%, which means I'm not seeing behemoths yet. If I do get to behemoths, I probably need to add some landmines outside the walls. But yeah, for now, as we can see here... 
Yeah, it's the closest. Yeah, there's one coming up here as well. But yeah, as we can see here, flamethrowers. Burn, 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 burn. And the little robots just fix everything up. So yes, as long as I don't run out of stone or iron or copper, which as you can see I have plenty of all of those still, I can just rebuild the walls and repair packs and everything and the robots and everything forever. And yeah, I had no need to worry anymore. And I'm sitting safe in here. Well away from the where the, bi the biters are. Yeah. Some bigger attacks can look like this. But yeah, mostly the same story. Sometimes I manage to kill some of the walls or mostly some of the robots, I think. Yeah, like if this attacks now, they'll probably kill a few robots, but I currently have 7,000 of them and automated replenishment of the robots, so yeah. What's my next expansion going to be, or do I think I have enough to launch a rocket? I almost definitely have enough resources within the walls now to launch a rocket, uh, because I am only two technologies away from the rocket silo even. So I just need to set up some uh, utility science pack production, which is going to consume lots and lots and lots of steel. Um, and I'm currently consuming all of the iron I have mined. So I would have to pull iron away from uh, something else or take another iron expansion, probably this one, if I want to just keep production up. So yeah, I think what I'll probably do is just expand a bit, uh, slightly further and just take this one. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually getting very close to being able to launch a rocket here. So let's see these. Yeah, these are now fully flowing, not backing up, so we're consuming all of this copper. Are these backing? Yeah, some of these are actually backing up though. So I could... Yeah, but that's still only... It's still only one belt. But I guess I am merging those into fewer belts than I could, I suppose. Yeah, I could probably... No? Because this one is backing up here. Because from here on it's full flow, but this is backing up. Hmm. Oh no, wait, this... Yeah, because I have mining productivity. Twenty percent. So these are actually slightly more than one belt. Yeah, that makes sense. So then, but yeah, that doesn't explain why this would back up. Uh, I guess I'm merging these in not enough good a way. Oh, oh. That's incorrect. Does that, that fix it? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like that fixed it. Fixed it. Unless this starts backing up again. Yeah, slightly. ever so slightly. Let's see if this one starts working again. Yeah, okay, working. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, so I probably could optimize this a tiny bit, but it's probably not worth it. Could squeeze like an extra percent of performance out of this or something. It's probably not worth it. So, but yeah, this is getting quite a good amount of copper now. This is fully fed, very nice. And yeah, this is fully fed as well. Even this one is fully fed, wow. What about the plastic then? Plastic is looking... Looking good here. Looking good there. And looking good there, yeah. Looks like all of these are fully fed. And this one is finally getting iron too, but only half a lane. Uh, yeah, because it's all being consumed here. And this is not feeding fully. Yeah, because this is uh, yeah, because this only consumes ninety percent of the belt. But yeah, it produces a full belt. And that's all getting consumed here. Okay, so I guess I would need more iron miners to fully feed that. And get this running fully here. So yeah, this is running low on pipes now. So again, what I could do is just upgrade more things to use the higher level modules. Like, yeah, here we've seen many of these getting upgraded to level 2 modules. That's good. Do we have any level 2s up here yet? There's a level 3. Yeah, there are some level 2s. Okay. Doesn't so look like there's enough excess to worry about adding another belt. Maybe if I got another mining bonus, why the switch to electric furnaces? Uh, just so I don't have to worry about getting cold on here. Uh, I, w I won't replace these because I already have the coal supply there. But I wanted the electric miners here just so I could yeah, not have to worry about uh, pulling a coal belt in there. And it also lets me put some productivity modules in, which is kind of nice. Probably won't go up to higher level modules on these. But yeah, it gives me a small amount of extra punch for the resources I have. Uh, I will, of course, need uh, level 3 productivity modules for the silo and stuff like that. And probably want those in here eventually. Once I have enough stuff going to make it. Okay, so maybe now is the time to just start focusing on expanding here. So last time I was experimenting with these new designs for a uh, repeatable layout that I could just yeah just copy like this and just hopefully not have to worry about what happens to it and just go. But it turned out to not work very well, so I think I'm just going to go back to the to the design I used here. Like this one. Just use this that instead. Maybe refine it a little bit. Uh, like I'll take this here. Rework this a bit. These, yeah, these still get oil from there, so that's fine. Can get rid of these. Wasn't it worth getting solid fuel working? Uh, I have solid fuel here. Well, I have some solid fuel. I'm basically using the excess light oil as solid fuel, but that's already getting consumed by these power plants. So I can't feed any more things with the solid fuel. Because I'm already consuming all the solid fuel I have. I guess I could set up more oil refineries, but I don't really need it right now. I have enough petroleum. Kind of, almost. <laughs> but at least there's still some plastic in the buffer here. 
which tells me that I probably have enough petroleum for now. What am I using for power? Yeah, I used coal and steam still. And I probably can make it on these for the rest of the game. I have this coal mine down here, which uh, produces enough coal to power these. Probably not fully, I think. Like, if I do hit the, the ceiling on these, then I probably won't have enough coal to completely fully power these. But it's, it's at least close enough. So yeah, I guess I could pull some coal from there into these furnaces, but yeah, whatever. I already had electric miners, so I just set those up instead. Uh, yeah, so let's go back down here and do some designs for turret pushing. So the design I used previously was this one. So what if I take yeah. So yeah, put that like this. And the idea here was that... These flamers... Can reach all the way out to this wall, basically. Something like that was the idea. What if I do it in here instead? So I'll take Yeah, take this one, put it in here. So this one I can this way I can also judge the range of this robot port. Okay. Let's get rid of these pipes. Just place the robot port for now. As long as you have enough coal for plastic, you're sorted, I guess. Yep, that's what I'm feeling as well. And yeah, I do have enough coal. I have seen some coal shortage shortages here when I haven't produced enough solid fuel. And then the power plant just consumes all this coal instead. But now I, it looks like I have figured out the circuit conditions well enough that I can prioritize solid fuel over cracking petroleum, unless I need more petroleum. Or yeah, I, I reworked it to prioritize solid fuel over petroleum. And that means I have more solid fuel for the power plants, which means I have more coal for the plastic. And also less petroleum because of the plastic, I guess, but yeah, whatever. And it's back to here, and let's see. That one's gonna reach all the way to here. One shorter there. It's in the middle. So this reaches all the way out there. So then I would want to have another cell out here. Like that. So see why do I want to do the walls oh how I unlock the walls from here so I would like to have flamethrowers so that they can clear all the way out there or maybe I just do it in stages one flame through here. And that reaches out there. So I can put walls. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the spitter range. So I need a wall there at least, and that can clear all the way out to there. So if I put 
two layers of walls, like like that maybe. Maybe a bit further in. Okay, then I can put another flamethrower here. Maybe it'd be better, better to just do it like this. Probably want this here instead. Uh, let's connect this up so I have power here so it stops blinking. I'll need solid fuels for my rocket. Yeah, that's true. I'll worry about that when I get to it. And like I said, I can put down some more oil refineries. It's no big deal. Then just put all of it into making solid fuel, basically. I could do that. So that'll cover all the way up there. That'll cover all the way up there. And then... Yeah, maybe something else. Something like this could work. Maybe. Still probably need even a few more flamethrowers to get this rolling. Probably want these a bit further out so they don't get splashed by the spitters. And then pipes. Yeah, maybe this doesn't need to be rotationally symmetric, it just needs to be uh, translationally symmetric, maybe. So let's see how that works. This will need to move a bit. So if I do another box like this... That can work. Maybe we don't need this wall. I'm gonna go and pull it forward as well so I can just jump them easily. Yep, that's the idea. So, yeah, let's see how that works. If I do that, these pipes will not connect. Seems like it could work. So then I'll replicate this way, like whoop, like that. And then I just need to put another bunch of turrets in the middle. Here I don't need the roboports. I do need some power poles though. Okay, but I have one there. It's fine. this now mirror symmetric. It is mirror symmetric, okay. And these have decent enough coverage, I think. Yeah. Maybe this can work. So there. And 
then let's see, the unit will be this one. So let's take yet another copy of this. Oops, no. Copy. And select new contents. And I want this whole thing. I don't think I want pipes the other way. Center is going to be there. And width and height is correct. Uh, let's see how that lines up. It does line up, line up correctly. Right, let's see how this works in the real world then. So I'll probably take this down. I think I can dismantle all of it because I have robots around it that should cover it. Let's put that down there. And connect up some of these pipes. Yeah, I guess all of these pipes actually need to connect for this. Uh, or at least one from each set. So let's see how that works. Might want some walls in between, I guess. But it's also nice to keep the entity count low. And since these need to be translationally symmetric, I would need to have... And, and this is an even number of cells wide. I would need to have it uh, like two lines of walls. Like this, maybe. I guess maybe that's fair enough. Yeah, let's go with that. To make it a bit more manageable... Oh wait, no, not copy. I want... Select new contents. So to make it a bit more manageable when the biters do break through. So let's do like that. Let's place that down. Oh yeah, and I guess I'm gonna need to move a bunch of materials down here now. As usual. Oh, I already have the chests for some of it. Okay. I'm going to need... Let's see. Uh, so I have... Walls, flamethrowers and mines. Yeah, that's all. I also have one for uh, cliff explosives. I can just move some of those down. See, then I need also pipes of two kinds, roboports and power poles. So, pipe, and pipe, and marble, and robo port. Yeah, let's place those here. Move these over here too. How's this going now? Oh, these are getting populated with modules. Very good. Oh, and this is <laughs> not doing anything. Okay, let's remodel this a bit here. Let's 
first make a lane balancer and then split from that down this way. are moving up here. Okay, so let's deconstruct that, have them all move it back down to here. These should also be moved back into circulation. Why are they moving those here? I want them to move those down here. That was quite a few circuits already. Right. So yeah, these are mostly limited by red circuit input. And... Oh, these are actually low in plastic now. I guess when I expand these kinds of things, the plastic production probably takes a bit of a dip, actually. Because uh, that consumes a bit of light oil, which pulls some light oil away from the solid fuel and uh, the cracking here. I'll need the blue circuits for yellow signs. Yep, I will. I also need them for modules. Both lanes at least being populated now. So that should even out these two sides. Uh, okay. But yeah, as long as these are low on input materials, I can just put more productivity modules in them. So once everything is upgraded to level 2s, I guess I'll restart these and continue making level 3 productivity modules and upgrade to those instead. Okay, so let's see how this is doing. I guess I can save a few walls if I do it like this. These are down, so we can move these over there. And I want to move these down there. I also want to move these down there. As well as all of this. That should be all I need, actually. And that should not even engage the entire robot swarm at this point, because I have so many robots now. Only engaging like 2,000 of them. Sweet. Guess I should also upgrade the modules in the labs. Actually, no. I'll upgrade those to. Wait, what did I undo now? These? No. These? No, it's probably one of these in the... Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, yeah, so I don't actually want to upgrade these. I'll upgrade them directly to level 3 modules. Because if we just use the modules here instead... Oh, and now we're full on plastic again. 
And we are full on green circuits and co copper as well, so maybe I can add another line of these. Let's see. Can probably move this to like here maybe. Doesn't quite connect. So this is now isolated, yeah. Let's put it up there instead. Let's see if I can uh, replicate another of these. This way. Don't need that rubber port. So I'll need another green circuit belt. And another belt of plastic. modules Let's see how this is going here are the moving pipes and robots down here Looks like they're not. So let's see where those went. <laughs> they're not here. So then where are they? Where did they put those? I don't think I should have more. Oh, uh, I left these here. I'm an idiot. Okay, please move these again. So I'll have to wait for that to finish. Meanwhile, let's check in on uh, these. Oops. Well, these are actually backing up now. Is that because I broke the belts up here? No, not really. But this is slow. <laughs> yeah, I did broke I did break the belt, so that's why. Maybe 
maybe... Can I feed this red circuit belt down there as well? Maybe I can, yeah. Let's try. So this yellow belt. Uh, let's put a up priority left. And let's see this one. Do I need to put output priority right on this one? Yeah, I can do that. Priority right. There. Priority left. There. Which I already did, I think. Let's pull this down all the way down here. fewer of the machines hopefully or maybe just move the resource shortage shortages from down here to up there maybe we'll see you know this is running at full speed again it seems Let's have this one take input priority from the left. There, so that this can feed full speed, but it doesn't. Okay. I guess I'm not consuming both of the lanes quickly enough. Okay, now I'm low on plastic. So let's also do like this. Out of priority right. So it's easy to tell how long this lasts. Okay, now I have a bunch of stuff down here soon. Okay, now I can start experimenting with this. Let's take that away. Let's see how this does. Let's see how many robots do we have here? Yeah, we have quite a few robots down here. Okay. Let's go. Rocks in the way. See how this does. Oh, this is no oil, yeah, because these do not connect. Whoopsie. So that's the first thing to fix. Those grid lines look pretty wacky. Okay. Alright, that worked kind of okay, it seems. So let's try one more cell this way. Actually we can wait for this to finish up. Ok, 
Okay, looks like that's everything in range. Just one more cell here, see what happens. Oh, this is in a blind spot, I guess. Let's put another one there then, to clean that up. Yeah, just out of range. to work kind of okay. Is the room to the left? Yeah, it's not in the arc here. Oh yeah, and I need to connect these. Let's just do it like this for now. Maybe I should have that one in the blueprint, actually. Don't need to have it all the way everywhere, but at least that one... Oh no, wrong button. There, blueprint. Get a radar down here. Oh, I don't have a space for radars in this. Huh. I guess I can do like uh, this though. Just expand these walls slightly. And that'll leave a space in here. Yep. Okay, so now I can deconstruct mo much, most of this stuff. Yeah, I should get those pipes down here too. Then I can deconstruct a lot of this. Those materials back in the chests. Oh, and these pipes too. Oh, now they're bringing walls from up in the base. That's not ideal. I want them to use these. Uh, how are we doing on the other materials? 200, 300... Okay, so I just need to bring a few more walls, basically. Do I have walls here? No. Okay, so it's these.
Okay, looks like, yeah, we now have enough of the level 2 modules. So let's get back to making level 3 modules then. to level 3. Actually, no. It's these that need to be upgraded first. And yeah, I need more plastic, so I guess I should just build another oil refinery. Question is where? I need coal for the plastic as well. I guess I can just copy paste this whole thing. It's probably fine. Get rid of some of the stuff. This can go away. That needs to stay. These belts are not needed. Wait, this belt is needed because that's the coal input. This is not needed. Something like that. Okay, let's see if I can just squeeze this in somewhere easy. Like here, maybe? So I have crude oil there. Yeah, I think I can just put another one in here. That's gonna be okay. So then I need crude oil in this pipe. So that'll be from here. Well, I realize now that my stream title is still scaling up to mid game, while well, this is more like finishing out to end game. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Here we need some water. Yeah, this needs to go there too, yeah. And water, 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 water up here. And offshore pump, perfect. Now, do I have coverage? Yes, I do. And finally, I need coal in here. I think I can just pull that in from below instead. Should be quite easy. That should be easy. Like that, rotate. Like that, rotate. Rotate, and uh, there. And then I just need to pull that in to here, from here. So, so around here maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Same kind of thing here, but can I mirror this? Oh yeah, wow. 
Cool. On the end of this one. Okay, that should give us a bunch more plastic. And here I think I'll just merge this into one red belt instead. Make it a bit easier to work with. Uh, these are all yellow. Don't need these. So then I need to run this up there and merge it in there somewhere. So we can do that here maybe. What are they eating? Oh, it's this, okay. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Don't really care about losing a few robots at this point. Okay, this can be cleaned up. And back to here. And we need belts. Just run it all the way up here, turn it around, and then merge it in here. Yeah, let's probably upgrade this to red as well. Don't I? There. And then this goes this way. Can I make it all the way over? No. Okay. So this needs to come under. Here I can make it all the way across. Dodge these. No, not like that though. Let's go up here. And in there. So these are. F yeah, that's probably enough walls. I can. Okay, that's already finished. Alright. So we. Do you have enough robots here that I can probably continue doing these? Supply one more cell this way. Let's see if that works. Do these also have cliff explosives? Okay, there are explosives there, okay. So these will first place down all of this stuff, and these as well, I suppose, and then these will come down in a later wave, uh, effectively, just because of uh, how the robots are placed. Uh, okay, can we get some pipes, maybe? It's not going to work without the pipes. <laughs> Robots, please. Pipes. I guess that probably pulled a few robots too far away. Oh yeah, here, the p here come the pipes. <laughs> yeah. So, do I abort this and wait for the pipes to arrive? I abort this and wait for the pipes to arrive. A 
But now I can't deconstruct this because I lost the Roboport. Yeah. yeah, let's get that back in coverage. It's not great for defending to the sides, are they? Yeah, not great. Okay, so wait, let's wait for the robots to settle down then. Oh, electricity is spiking. Yeah, roboports are quite power hungry when you engage a lot of robots. Wow, and the furnace is has spiked here as well. What happened to the production? Oh, did I... Was it this... No? What happened? Copper cable spiked. Something suddenly started consuming much more red circuits, I guess? No? Blue circuits? Green circuits? Why did these spike? <laughs> That's very weird. I guess the coal consumption spiked just because the power production did. But what happened here? Assembly machine 2. Radar. I guess this just hit the ceiling, I suppose. Yeah, now we're back down to not full anymore. Okay. Call for plastic? Uh, maybe, but I mean, then we should have seen a uh, corresponding increase in circuit stuff, which we did not. If anything, the plastic consumption dropped. Okay, okay, but there are very big swings in the plastic production, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I guess, like I said, these swing up and down with the uh, light oil consumption. And also power consumption. Okay, and now the robots have settled down a bit, so let's continue with these. Still on this way. This one is not going to be very useful. And this is not going to cover everything, so let's move. Oh yeah, it might actually be useful because I have yeah, because I have those pipes there. But it's not going to reach all the way, so. And it is actually, actually going to be very useful, but I can put one here instead. Like there in this case. Oh, but I, then I need more pipes in this direction instead. There. Filling the belt with plastic? Yeah, I guess that's probably it then. I also do have quite a big buffer there. But yeah, this is not running yet. Oh, now it's starting, but yeah. It's not really up yet. It will come up momentarily though. Yeah, this will also produce lubricant, which will never get consumed. Yeah, we'll just crack the heavy oil down into petroleum eventually. Actually crack all of it down into petroleum eventually. Here. 
one over here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, can we get that placed, please? Yeah, there's no oil on these pipes. Because there are no pipes. Why are there no pipes? Oh, because I've used all the pipes. Okay. Guess I'll abort this again. down there. Do I have pipes up here? No. Oh, these are fully fed now. Cool. So these will keep producing uh, level 3 modules. Yeah, not very many. These could really use some speed modules, I guess. But on the other hand, then that's then these belts are not going to be quite enough, are they? Yeah, maybe they are actually. Uh, so I don't have speed module 2. I can just do this and then upgrade them. But I don't have speed module 3 yet. So let's do level 2. And then I need actually level 3 to 2 as well. networks. What are they doing out here? Are they going over there? Why are they going over there? <sighs> when I said convex I meant concave. <laughs> you want your robot networks to be convex. But these are not convex in this shape here.
Okay, this is working. Cool. Storing up some light oil. I guess I don't actually need this one. But let's not waste this oil just because of that. This really isn't needable. So maybe we'll just take this down completely. Yeah. Given side issues, is it worth adding some more side facing flamethrowers that can cover side walls? Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I'll just figure this out and then uh, just, just to make some something special for this and then uh, continue pushing this way. Then maybe I guess I'll make a corner piece for these as I go. Probably. Yeah, for this I'll just figure out some kind of special case, I think. Yeah, some kind of side facing, maybe like here, actually. Yeah, that could work pretty well. Yeah, that could work really well. Just pull this forward slightly and place one in there. That might be enough, even. One extra each side of the middle. Yeah, could also work. Yeah, that'll cover this one. But then again, this one also covers that. So yeah, I think this might work out. Okay, so do we have enough robots ready now? Okay, and we have any pipes here? Yeah, okay. So let's make one more attempt at this. If I can get all that constructed, that should clear this up. Yeah, and here are some normal pipes as well. Cool. So let's see if this works. Okay, at least these have oil now. That's good. much better this time. It helps it really helps to have the materials close by for this. Right, so that should kill all these worms. And then we can just clean these spiders up easily. That did kill all the worms actually. <laughs> Guess we'll need to um, we we'll need to get another delivery of a flamethrower. At least, yeah, this pipe at least has oil still in it, so as soon as that uh, flamethrower gets placed, it'll be able to clean the rest up. Maybe I should have this one in permanently. Pretty well. So next wave. Let's 
Let's also get some new boxes out here. Oh, am I out of flamethrowers down here? Yes, I am out of flamethrowers. Ah. I'm gonna need to move some of those down as well then. Let's see, are they shooting this? They're not shooting this actually. So maybe I don't actually need to fall back from this. I can just wait for this to be delivered. This damage is gonna attract a lot of robots. We'll need to repair them. So probably these pipes will get sniped soon enough. Yeah, these are gonna take a while to arrive. Oh these no. Where are the flamers? There they are. Okay, so that might make it there in time. Let's see. But I just need to move a few more flamethrowers down. Oh, 700. Wow. What's the limit on this? It's like a thousand. Yeah, it's a thousand flamethrowers limit. Okay. <laughs> well, if we can get all that down here, we're not going to be short on those anymore. So where are they now? Here they are. dealt with. Okay, and this should now be able to clean up the rest here. Alright. So this does seem to be working fairly well, as long as I have enough materials close by. So these boxes are delivered, which means I can move these boxes forward. I think I want to... No, let's just move them now. And then these will reroute down to here. Might have the side issue again? Yeah, well, these were able to ha handle it though. Nope. Let's close these. Yeah, I probably do want to put in those flamethrowers permanently in this. So this one, oh, this one goes there on this side, and there on this side, and we'll do the same thing up here, and here. So then this will be the new blueprint. And that should make it quite easy to just push in both directions. Uh, right, I need to wait for these to move all these materials forward. It should be done somewhat soon. And then I just need to wait for all the robots to recharge. But then once I have uh, extended this 
some way this way and then I can start uh, recycling these walls and flamethrowers and everything. Although I guess I don't really need to recycle flamethrowers anymore because I have 700 of them. <laughs> oh well. I also want to make yet another deconstruction planner that I can use to quickly recycle stuff. So it's going to do walls, pipes, pipes, flamethrowers, not roboports, and not electric poles. Okay, and let's get these two into the hot bar. Okay, three thousand robots need to charge or are moving things. I should have repair packs down here as well, shouldn't I? So, repair pack. now. Seems like there's not. Yep, these are all the underground pipes I have. So let's move those down. So we can wait even longer for this to finish. I guess I should probably do all this with uh, like trains and belts instead. It's probably more efficient. I don't want to deal with that right now, really. I mean, I know how to do it. I just don't really want to bother for now. Meanwhile, let's see how this is going. This is fully loaded. Okay. So yeah, these two just need more modules. Which means I need to restart this, actually. But I can disable from here. Because I don't really need more efficiency modules right now. And the ones I have I can make up here because I mostly need the level 1 efficiency modules. And that is if I'm building more mines, which I currently am not. Oh, I guess here are some stuff I can recycle as well. Yeah. At least this belt is fully fed now. Cool. Oh, 
Yeah, it looks like the added plastic and the added nodules really helped here. Very nice. And here we even have a bit of extra solid fuel. Cool. So this we can eventually use for the rocket fuel and stuff. Maybe I get started making that already, actually. Uh, I think I need... No, I don't need that for these. Yeah, that will need it for the, for the rocket eventually. But I think I will, will be able to consume it faster than I can produce it here anyway, so... I'll just store it up in these buffer chests for now. This can store... yeah, about 10,000. Probably a good buffer. Okay, these are going again. And speed module 3 research is... Yeah, just needs more steel again. Which is what I'm working on here. just need these robots to finish their work. Delivering 1000 pipes here. Cool. here though is now this is no longer translationally symmetric as you can see there there's a collision so what to do about that do I care about it I could just move the walls out slightly and face the flamethrower the other way So just do it like this. Could do it like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. Recenter it as well, I think. Yep. And also, I need to get rid of those boxes. Oh, and this one also needs to be updated. these out as well. Doesn't really make sense to have them like that anymore.
Now it repeats cleanly. again right so now you just wait for the robots to settle down and then we go again Okay, these are all module now. It's good. And many of these are module two. So now I'm short on green circuits. Here it looks like yeah, I don't have enough input to feed all this either. So I could benefit from better productivity modules here too. So let's get level 3s in these. I should also be uh, place these in. Yet again, update the blueprint. this even that I do all the way up there and get rid of these and the flamethrowers but just leave these pipes so then I can remove these pipes and that makes a few fewer entities at the front which the robots need to worry about repairing and all that should make this a tiny bit more efficient as well. Maybe I also want to move these power poles. Yeah, I probably want to move these power poles like there instead. Although I still need them forward. I can move these like that. Let's wait for all these to come here and settle down. Yeah. 
I guess this could also really benefit from Productivity 3 modules to further or decrease the green circuit consumption there. Okay, so how's this going? Oh, these are going back. Oh, there you have unloaded this roboport, okay. Right, I think we're ready to make another push here. So let's go this way first, I think. Yeah, I won't worry about those right now. Or do I? Yeah, I will worry <coughs> I will worry about those. Oh, these walls are also in the way. I forgot to remove the boxes. There. Yeah, this looks to be working pretty well. Then I can just do another set of these to push a bit further. Perfect. Let's get this running too. There we go. And with that I can push all the way out to this lake. All is dead. Let's pick this up. Let's not blow that cliff up. So I should also have a deconstruction planner to also take down the power poles. So I can just use that for stuff like this. And now I can just replicate this out this way. Cycle all of this stuff. So let's continue pushing this way.
Move a few more radars down as well. Those are there. And also there. So let's see this one. Yeah, I might want another set of side facing flamethrowers in here actually. Like right here. Do that. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, let's go. These have no oil input here. Oops. E so they can figure that out. Meanwhile, this is doing damage to the base. So these can get started as well, once they get placed. Yes. Okay, very good. So this way. Yeah, and somewhere around here we'll probably need to spin this around. 
in another orientation like this. That actually looks like it can kind of work. Just need to restructure the pipes a tiny bit. But yeah, that can work. Until now? Oh. I guess I just placed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of belts, I suppose, <laughs> throughout this playthrough so far. Usually you get that achievement much earlier. Let's get some radar down here. Oh, and this doesn't have space for it. Ugh. the blueprint again but without the radar I can reach. Okay, so one of these worms will make it through. <laughs> these won't reach all the way. Just barely won't. terrifying for these poor biters to just see this kind of inferno factory just crawling across the landscape like this and just burning everything, literally burning everything in its, in its path. Mm. Poor things. But you know, the factory must grow. again. No? Okay. I guess the robots were just slow somehow. Okay, and there's one. Right. This one is not in range it seems. 
Okay. Means I can probably move this a bit forward. So I can reach that. How's this going? <laughs> Still working on that, eh? Because that is the one pipe that feeds all of this oil. So I'm going to have to leave this middle here. So I'll probably leave those walls even, actually. I can take it this way. Okay, this is all finished. Okay, there are a few rocks in there. Any more? Uh, yes. Let's do another cell this way. anymore either. This can all go away. <laughs> I guess I should let them repair some of that. Uh, do I have repair packs down here now? No. Did I move any? I think I did. Yeah. Why are they leaving them there? Oh no, they're not, okay. Okay. Oh. Like they already already have repaired that as well. Okay. So here let's continue with this way, I think. Maybe I want to the radar down here somewhere. Yeah, like here. Just place one like this. Set one here as well. And let's do another cell here.
Yeah, getting the pipes down quickly is really critical here. So that this doesn't happen. pipe there with oil, so now we just need that flamethrower to be replaced. And same thing here. one. No oil though. Yeah, the pipes are busted again. But at least this one is working. Taking out worms and nests. just redo the thing I did way back when which was just like this just do this one and then place it something like this yeah, so underground pipes like that and that and maybe some walls around it. This is much more effective. I 
Yeah, should have just kept doing the thing I was doing that was working. around here. There's this iron, but that's... yeah, the only iron or copper patch on this whole area. Yeah. These have cleaned out their arc. I'll deconstruct these and put another cell forward here. Should probably just expand like this as well. Okay, that's done. Let's pick all this up. Let's not deconstruct the rocks. Over the trees. Okay. So how's the oil looking now? Okay, this is still full, so I guess this is just just takes it quite a while to get down here. Or maybe maybe the connection's cut somewhere. Yeah, looks like it. So these still have a hundred percent, hundred and a hundred. Okay, so somewhere around here the connection cuts. Okay, that's still full. That's still full. Full, 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 full. Okay, here. Yep, there it is. Some more oil on here. Okay, that's full. Okay, this is still not fixed. coming. Ha. Huh. I guess I've already used up all the walls down here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to be really uh, conservative with just recycling these as soon as I can, I guess. Thousand walls. Oh wow, yeah, one of these is 
Just one of these is 500? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that explains why I run out so quickly. So is this fixed yet? Yeah, okay. So this should be dipping now. Not yet. Guess it needs some time to propagate. Yeah, okay. So this is emptying out. This is slowly rising. And what about here? We have 37. Okay, we now have oil back down here. Okay. Okay, these are doing okay now. So let's continue this way once we have... Yeah, we do have enough robots. Let's continue this way. Flamethrowers, yes. I transitioned over to that pretty much as soon as I got uh, advanced oil processing running uh, with a new, um, you know, this. No, can't see it here. But yeah, um, with a new feature from a few versions back that you can just click. Uh, a pipe to see all the fluids in the system and just flush any of it makes that a lot easier than it used to be now that you can actually connect two pipes with different fluids in them so I can just connect it over to light oil stop feeding crude oil and then just wait for the flamethrowers to switch over okay this looks safe, so I can recycle this. Are we doing in power poles? Only 11 remaining. So I probably want to recycle a few of those as well. maybe So you disconnected this whole thing now. Oops. Guess we don't actually need that radar there. Okay, so let's bring this back up. Yes, I need 
need some more pipes for this. Let's do a trim in here. So much more effective. So let's get that into the blueprint book. for that. Yeah, just barely it seems. Oh, so a little more coverage here. Okay, I can push a bit further out. Splash damage to this worm <laughs> by accident. Whoops. Oh, they're going over here. Okay, this is coming up. Cool. So soon I can recycle this block. Are they gonna reach the spawner? Maybe. No. Okay. Let's pick all that back up and place another cell here. going up here. Wow, almost all of these are upgraded already. Nice. These are also upgraded mostly. Very nice. These are still not getting enough green circuits.
Okay, this is backing up. It's good. So eventually those will make it down here as well. Okay, we've made almost, yeah, we've made 80 modules so far. It's cool. I guess I should also upgrade these to have modules in them. This to level three, and upgrade. Wait, now this is full on steel. Oh, but this is no iron. I guess this was short on copper before, so, and it therefore probably couldn't consume all of the iron. Hmm. Okay, I think I can pause these for a while. Send me all the copper ore anymore. Okay. So how's this going? Yeah, that's okay. Can recycle this. that just yet. Let's actually wait with all of this. Oops, but this still needs to go down. Hmm. It's not gonna cover all of it all of it. Oh, okay the, these are though. Okay, so that's fine. That will kill that spawner, that's good. So how's the oil looking now? Okay, building up nicely. So looking up here, 22k, yep. It's gonna take a while to refill. So that I guess actually means we're going to have a plastic shortage because we're now having a solid fuel shortage. However, that should be mitigated by all these. Yeah, still half load though. Still consuming all of the iron. Yeah, I guess because these are not completely filled up yet. Yeah. So I'm building up quite a steel buffer here. Is that gonna be 
4,000? No, 2.4 thousand. So 5,000 steel is gonna be buffered here, eventually. Okay, that worked. Let's get one more. Research seems to have stalled. Yep, it's because these don't have any iron. I guess I could remove the priority from here. Get it a tiny bit of iron at least. But then that's going to be shared up here with... Yeah, the blue sides. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, blue and purple sides are going to share this iron input. So actually... I guess I should feed some of this back in there. Because I'm not using all this iron now. But on the other hand... Okay, yeah, this is not all being used. Yeah. Yeah, so I can feed some of this iron into the research. Yeah, and these both go through this splitter now, yeah. So let's take some of that off here. And find a way to squiggle it down this way. Just go under these turrets. That and then we'll put a input priority left on this. Or even output priority right on there. Oh wait, the other way around. Left. Now we get this back up and running. How are these doing? They're doing okay, actually. Yeah, maybe it's also time to figure out a corner piece for this. So I probably want this kind of thing going this way, and also that way. And yeah, and then I'll do, just do the same kind of thing. there. Yeah, and then we'll just do a corner there. 
flamethrower, flamethrower, and pipe and pipe. I probably want to pipe here as well. And then these are not doing anything anymore. Maybe I want them to though. Yeah, I could use those like this. I don't need those. Just move those in slightly. And get rid of those. And do the same kind of thing uh, this way. I think I'm just going to be happy with it like that, probably. That looks pretty okay. Ah, that's probably fine. So, that's a corner piece. Let's take a copy of that. Put it in there. And there we go. at least producing a little bit now. Can recycle this also. It's not really useful either. Guess that can stay. And uh, let's get rid of this. our brand new corner piece here instead. And I guess it's a bit risky. I can just pull all of this up, I suppose. Start with this. Please 
paste in the corner piece again and place this rotated. Oh, and that's facing the wrong way. Seems like a much better blueprint than the one than the ones I had. Makes it much easier to just go in all directions with this. Let's pull all of this up as well. This one's just out of range. Uh. Deconstruct all of this stuff. can probably actually... Ah! If I want to do that, I'm going to need these pipes at the front as well. So I guess I'll just put those in. But then I can... deconstruct at least this. If I do that. Oh wait, I'm going to need to upgrade the blueprint first. Oh, but I can move this up. instead. Maybe that's just a better place to have them even. Ah, I'll keep them at the back as well. And there. Actually this is not really rotation symmetric so I don't need to keep these two poles makes this a whole lot cleaner. I can even move this into the middle. Wow. All the possibilities that open up when you don't need to be rotationally symmetric. That's a lot cleaner. Okay. That means I no longer have a space for a radar though. But that's okay, I can just place another power pole for, for, when, I need, for when I need a radar. Um, but this, yeah, this still is, isn't enough space, so maybe I should just move these walls out as well. While I'm at it.
Let's give this a nice name. Burninator 9000 is a good name, I think. Okay, let's get rid of some power poles. Don't have a deconstruction planner for that, so... Let's get rid of some power poles. There, and there, and there. And place the new one instead. Yeah, and I don't actually need, need these flamethrowers, I just need the pipes. Because the, the flamethrowers aren't actually connecting any of the pipes. So let's also get rid of all these walls then. Speed module finished. Can't do that one yet because I don't have yellow science being produced. I guess I can research beacons. That could be could be quite useful. Also Automation 3 could be useful. Get some faster machines. Yep, let's do that. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I already have this. Okay, cool. Maybe I should bump this up to a few more modules, like 200. stuff then and continue this that way now there are some stray pipes here ah and I also need to have pipes out of the sides from here okay so this one does Okay, now I should be able to re uh, recycle 
this. Oh, but I still need these pipes. connections. Hmm. I guess there were some cliffs in the way or something. Okay. There's still plenty of oil in the pipes at least. Gets ruined. Let's get rid of all of this. Continue up this way. Right, that will finish up these walls and everything. I can probably just recycle all of this too. Yep, let's do that. Can probably recycle some of these robot boards as well. How are the robots doing? Okay, a thousand of them out on work. Right, so let's let this finish before we continue. I guess here I'll need to go backwards, or maybe just push these out a bit. 
just push these out a bit. S I think I still have these blueprints. Yeah, it looks like it's this one. Yeah, it looks like this one is aligned slightly differently. So let's try realigning it then. So another 8 on the Y, another 2 on the X. So five and oh no wait, it's the wrong number. So another thirteen, then nineteen. Oh yeah, I rem remember these numbers somewhat. Okay, minus one y and plus two x. Oops, one. Okay, minus two x. Is it only one? Oh yeah, it's only one. Okay. See, I can use that to push forward here. I'm also going to need this thing again here to deal with this kind of thing. Okay, looks like this is done. Or at least close to it. isn't it? <laughs> gonna be quite messy I think. Probably don't have enough walls. Oh I do, okay. Cool. Let's see how this goes on. Right, I should also set the recipes for the new speed modules I have now. Down here. Let's 
swarms of robots. Do you have pipes down here? So not sure why. Oh, there it There it goes. Okay. Finally getting some more progress there. We need to use this again. These are fetching repair packs. Okay, and these are all ready to go. These things here. Seems.
thing, so those are just burning all the pipes, it seems. <laughs> okay, now these are uh, running. Very good. The others should follow suit soon enough. Up. This one too. Let's try to get one more in here. Let's see, actually, make sure I place it within the range. Like that. Pipes here. And there they go. Can I actually put that in the next cell here? Looks like I might have lost a few robots here. This is generating a substantial amount of pollution from all these flames. Okay, that's all we're gonna reach with these, so let's pick this all back up and move forward with another cell here, or two even, or three.
Let's see if I will actually have enough materials. I do not have enough for three, so let's cancel one. But yeah, I do have enough for two at least. Now I'm gonna need some more radars. Uh, maybe not that far forward. That should be fine. Or maybe even out here. But yeah, after this one I really need to move this uh, storage box forward. Maybe to like here. Or actually I can take this cell quite easily once I have this. Actually, already now I can recycle this stuff, I guess. Probably leave this one. So that can be recycled. Probably all the way back to here. Cleaned up as well. And anything else? No. a batch of stuff. Probably all of these. And right about now they're going to go recharge. No? Are they actually going to make it all the way? <laughs> As always, robots. Ah, silly robots. So yeah, that's why I need to have the boxes further forward. Damage. 
we got a couple of arms even? Oh, maybe even this one. Yeah, not bad. Took out all of those arms even. The robot came in clutch and repaired it there. Just as it was about to be destroyed. Okay. Should have enough materials here to make one more cell, yep. Yeah. So let's make one more here. Like there was just one missing pipe to get them all working. But yeah, there you go. Burning everything. Burning, burning, burning. Do these take fire damage? Looks like they don't. Okay, so that was a nest about this size here. Dealt with just like that. <laughs> the last of the clean up as well along with this bit of forest probably okay pick that back up let's get some radar down like here Also to move these boxes forward to like here. So for that I guess I should have some boxes down there. Like I did before but I no longer do. Three modules missing. Cool. And yeah, these should also get them. So yeah, to make more green circuits we just need more iron, it seems. And yes, we are consuming all this iron. 
We are consuming almost all of this iron. Why not all of it? Okay, because we just don't have capacity to consume all of it, I guess. Oh no, this is full on iron <laughs> and missing steel instead. <laughs> yep. That's how things go. But yeah, with this iron patch, we should be able to cover some of that iron, -ness, uh, iron need. So let's see, these boxes can make it down here. Those are down. Now I can move these down there. It's going to engage some 4,000 robots, it seems. Almost exactly 4,000 robots. All of which were already around here. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna be a massive spike in the power grid, probably. And there they go, to recharge. One very nice thing about having this uh, recycling chest here is that whenever one of these goes to upgrade, it'll bring back a level 2 module. And that'll go in there and be upgraded into a level 3 module. Well, along with four more others, but still. It helps, uh, helps reduce the, the need of new resources coming in here. So how's this going? Oh, almost done already. Yeah, just need to wait for all these robots to recharge now. So maybe I shouldn't have re deconstructed those robots. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what I could do? I could simulate buffer chests by putting limits on these chests. Probably. Like, I need... Uh, these stack to 500, so I need 600 of those. I need two stacks of those. Right, because these stack to 50, yeah. I need only one stack of pipes. And only one stack of flamers. Only one stack of these. And only one stack of roller ports. Stack of the rest as well, I suppose. Oops. So then, if I place one of these like here. Then if I yeah place another one of those here maybe yeah let's see what happens if I do this I also need to move some chests down there and remove these. So what else I can do is I can take the high volume ones and isolate those and the rest yeah these are the ones I don't need quite as many of so I can put these into each of the cells I can just put them in here. And that should make it much easier to expand this, I think. If I do that... Let's see what happens with this. Place some of these next to where I'm going to be expanding next. I want these further back, like here maybe, so that hopefully the robots will prefer these other ones whenever they deconstruct something, for example.
Okay, the boxes are down here. Let's deconstruct those. Let's wait for them to be constructed up here. Maybe some of these? No. It's probably these then. are done. Those are done, those are done, though. okay. All of those chests are done. So let's move these again. Actually, no. Because I need to have all kinds of chests up here, I think. Okay, it's like this. Okay, let's see. So like that. Oh no 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 no. Like that. So then I have some unlimited ones here. I think. These shouldn't have limits. Let's work this out. You're not moving them here. Are moving them there though? Okay. That's something at least. those things okay, looks like some of it's going here maybe yeah delivering a thousand here? Shouldn't this have a limit? It does. Okay. So let's see what happens when it fills up. Because this should only fill up to 600. And it is currently scheduled to have about 1200 delivered to it. Automation 3 is done. Let's get some more cargo size. That is what I'm doing right now, also. Okay, this one is capped at 50. That's good. Some others are going here. Okay. Okay. 
So then this should probably also deconstruct boxes. Those have also kept at a hundred. So yeah, this should cap now at six hundred. already. Okay, where are those going? Are they going just going to recharge? Okay. The delivery count is dropping. Looks like the robots are going here and then concluding, oh, this is too full already, so they need to move it somewhere else. So now they're moving it down here, it seems? No? Oh, there. Okay. So this seems to be kind of working. And these are deprioritized probably because they're farther away, I think. At least that was my idea.
some things ended up in here. Still, <laughs> one thousand two hundred robots in the air. Some more of that, or uh, that actually consumes purple science, which I don't really have that much of. Do I care about power armor? I don't think I do. Spidertron would be nice, but that is a lot of science, and I don't have yellow science set up yet. What else is there? I don't think I really care about efficiency module 3. Guess we can do some inserted capacity. Maybe blue belts could be nice, but also eh, doesn't really matter all, all that much at this point, I think. Beacons, though. Let's get beacons. Right, and I should also set this assembler up for assembler threes. Uh, so there, and go. And that is going to need an output. As well as an input. Let's say these less than two fifty. can be storage chest with a filter for these likewise this can also be storage chest with a filter for level one assemblers should have a limit to only insert when there's less than 50 and here only insert when there's less than 50 of those Quite a lot of assembly machines, so I can move those over there. There they are. Is that all? No?
It's 310 in the network. So where are those? Oh. There's 50. Ah, and there are some of them as well. Looks like this is settled down now, so let's continue doing this here. See if this is any faster now. Yeah, look at that. So I'm going to upgrade this again, this blueprint, with those new boxes. Oh, well this doesn't have the boxes. And there. No, we have the boxes. And recycle this. So that should now, hopefully, move stuff forward. some of it goes backward it seems but yeah a lot of it went into there okay I'm quite happy with that so let's continue this way Yeah, they're moving it forward. Perfect. Right, so let's make some more of these pushes here.
should actually clean all of this up. Once that gets built. Meanwhile, let's continue this way. Yeah, this thing, this new thing with the boxes really makes it so much easier to just keep going forward with this. I'll wait for a few boxes to come down, maybe. Recycle that. Yeah, it looks like they're taking it in somewhat random directions. Some of it's going there, some of it's going there. But at least most of it stays close to the front here, which is exactly what I want. like that. I just need the radar. There it is.
probably should bounce over somewhere else when they try to deliver all these walls here. Splash kill that one. there. Some more oil, but no more iron in this direction. <laughs> yeah, and lots of coal and uranium. This one, which I think I've seen before. It's also the other side of the lake. walls go now? Are they still in the air? <laughs> I guess they are. over here now. It's not great. Okay, this one's running. If we can get some, like, one of these to up, then those can clean out the rest of this.
guess we'll do some more cargo science then. There's not really much else to do if unless they want to go into uranium. But I don't think I really need that. I'm over, I probably already have enough power anyway. At least I think so. This iron patch might stretch. Ah, no, I have plenty of power still. I'm mostly hitting the ceilings when I have... Oh no, it's actually furnaces and assemblers right now. Yeah, the robots are peaking quite high. to see the ro radar coverage I realize that doesn't actually follow my map view <laughs> so not very useful for that seem to be favorizing one or a few of the boxes. Yeah, like this. Yeah, so with buffer chests, this whole thing could be made a whole lot more efficient.
I hit 90% evolution, which means we're starting to see behemoth spiders. Still at a very low fraction of all the biters, but still. That might cause some issues here. So this whole box thing isn't quite working as well as I'd hoped. Oh, and I... Uh, I deconstructed all those boxes. Whoops. Yeah, that doesn't help. Probably. Looks like the modules are finishing up. Oh no, I've actually been able to consume all the blue circuits I made. Huh. Yeah, level 3 modules consume quite a few of them, don't they? Let's see how this is going. Okay, those are coming up. There it is. So there's a radar coming. Mm, no. Not soon at least. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Still needs a power pole, though. are not in range, so I'm going to need another cell for this. And let's not build this one just yet. Stand this build one of these. gonna burn. Materials down here. Uh. At least I now have this iron ore within my borders. I want to expand it a bit more to have a bit of extra space though. So that I don't need to have the miners all the way up to the all the way up to the wall. But I guess I can prepare some belts, although I don't really want to occupy the bots with that right now. I'm gonna focus on this.
Yeah, this is not great that they're carrying it all the way over here. To there? Yeah, to there. <laughs> Oh, it didn't burn completely. Okay, so I'm gonna let some of these bots settle down and then place this cell. Some very angular patterns here. Only seven more modules to go. And now it's a red circuit, so we're low on. Which is because we're low on plastic. Which is because we're low on power. No. Ah, because we're low on light fuel. Oh, because we're low on oil, even. What do you know? Is this still working? That is still working. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just consuming it very quickly. Oh yeah, and the output has also decreased, it seems. And these also don't have enough crude oil. Have I cut these pipes somehow? Uh, yes, I sure have. Uh. Okay. Not only cut the pipes, but completely remove them. So where do I need to, I need to connect that here? what I get for trying to be economical and saving pipes. So now I can actually upgrade these to level 3 modules. And these two. Do I actually have all those stocked up already? Huh. Looks like I did. Okay. Okay, this is done. Robots are settled. Place another cell and cancel this part of it. Okay. 
Okay, those are some good pipes. Not the most important parts of them though. Or well, I guess neither the underground nor the overground pipe is more important really. killed behemoth spitters <laughs> and almost a thousand trees in the last hour but no behemoth spiders yet it seems again and this is saving up more oil now these are starting to come back to life okay on here now. No, not yet. I think I want to recycle these just yet. These, these nests are quite big here. running. There's a behemoth spider. That might be trouble, but no, okay. That's not trouble at all. Okay.
sure I get both of these nests with this one. to go this way at the same time, maybe? I think I'll place a corner piece here and then go up this way after that. There's a behemoth spitter. It's 
still no huge difference from the big ones. I mean, it has almost 10 times the health and twice the damage. But at this point it doesn't really matter anyway. Oh, are these not getting oil anymore? And no, they're not. Oh, these are? Yep. So you just need to connect that. I guess that radar is going to survive very long. Probably. We'll see. Flamethrowers. Okay, now this one's up and running. Here comes the road port. Assuming it, <laughs> assuming it can make it past to this nest here. Definitely not a sure thing. Yeah, that's probably gonna get sniped by the worms. Yeah, almost definitely getting sniped by the worms, I, I think. Yep. So close. Uh, 
But okay, let's place these as well. Can go one more. that gives them a chance to place these robots without getting sniped and then they can connect the rest from there. This is the idea. Might not even need a core rupees here. Can probably just close this off with uh, this one and just continue pushing these out this way until I just clear this. Two percent behemoth. See, I probably won't need these pipes anymore either.
Let's go. These three worms are not really going to put up much of a resistance here. We can close this out. Coming from here, it seems. Is this? Yeah, this is still running on level one assemblers. Look at these heroes. Ten thousand fi products finished. Eighteen. Yeah, something like. 30,000 walls produced in total. Does that match up here? Thirty-two thousand, yeah. Produced 5.7 million iron plates from 5.6 million iron ore, thanks to productivity modules.
Alright. I don't think there's really much else to do before I get to yellow signs. Maybe some of these. Yeah, let's get some of those.
Okay, all done here. Well, there's just these two tiny little nests remaining. Did I just happen to get a radar scan here? Yeah. <laughs> At the exact same time. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a radar. Just needs a power pole. Maybe that's this one. Like this one. There it is. Hello. for these to be constructed and this will yeah just fix itself basically that pipe is not going to connect to connect because this didn't fit in there that done already. So we don't need the rest of this. This doesn't really need to go all the way out there. Maybe it's easier, but yeah, maybe it's just faster to just wait for this to be constructed than to change it. Yeah, that should fix itself from there. And yeah, with that, we have a full border all the way out here. Can recycle most of this. Maybe even all of this. Yeah, I still need some of the pipes. Do some more of that. And just wait for this to finish. So how's it looking up here? Yeah. Yeah. All the modules that I had ordered are finished. Still looking low on red circuits because we're low on plastic still because we're low on oil apparently partly because I failed at doing this 
But yeah, the rest of them are working. As are these. So maybe it's time to place beacons in here. Oh, and these are only level 2 modules. Upgrade those to level 3. And those as well. And let's also start producing some beacons. Can do that here. So we're going to make cables and beacons. 15 seconds, yeah, this will be able to keep up with that. Continue as long as we have less than 100 beacons. side. Oh wait. I also need red circuits. But I don't think I really am going to build this out anymore at this point. So I'll just pull this down like this. circuits and then green circuits from here and that's all that'll make some beacons and okay this is finished cool that means I can deconstruct all of this some reason why I didn't get a deconstruct for that cliff. Okay. Let's also clean up some of these roboports. Probably want to keep that radar. Maybe I should have a power pole from up here. Still.
It's actually outside of reach. Reasonable pace. This is some crude oil left over. Okay, and this is working at full speed now. That's good. But yeah, we are, we are quite low on light oil now because of all this expansion down here. good amount of progress for one session. So I think I'm going to call it here for today. And maybe next time will be enough to finish this up and launch a rocket. We'll see. Or maybe it'll take one or two more sessions after that. We'll see. But it's starting to feel like I can probably just finish th this out quite soon. Especially now that I have this extra iron mine here. Just need to dump down a few miners and run a few belts back to the base and yeah, that'll be that'll be it. So as always, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, until next time, have a good one. And I'll see you then.